Selena Gomez wore Dolce Vita sneakers, $139, and they are in stock now. They are essential for every wardrobe. Selena Gomez's list of accomplishments continues to grow, with her official billionaire status slowly building up, the fourth season of Only Murders in the Building streaming on Hulu, and Emilia Perez, promotional tour blowing us away. With these celebrations comes plenty of stylish and comfortable clothing, which Gomez sports for the colder fall months. The actress' last outfit at the 2024 Telluride Film Festival immediately caught the attention of fans, and we met with the sneakers she wore for you to buy for yourself. Gomez wore a baggy beige coat, literally the perfect fall jacket, a red and white striped three-quarter sleeve shirt from Simply Retro, medium wash jeans, and these adorable Dolce Vita Notice sneakers. The $139 shoes come in 20 colors, with the same old love, Singer wearing the white leather version. The sneakers come in sizes 5 to 13. Buyers say they run true to size and feature a rubber sole and textured lining on the outside, which adds style to any outfit. Gomez then styled her outfit with stunning gold hoop earrings and a gold ring, braided hair, and minimal makeup. There is no wardrobe essential than a classic white shoe that goes with everything. Leaving the press of Emilia Perez, Gomez participated in an interview with Vanity Fair. The rare beauty founder revealed that she unfortunately cannot carry her children due to her medical problems that would put her and the child's life at risk. Despite this big reveal, Gomez has a lot of exciting projects coming up, including the recent green light for season five of Only Murders in the Building and the Wizards of Waverly Place reboot, Wizards Beyond Waverly Place, premiering on Disney Channel on October 29th. Hoda Kotb sends a message to Selena Gomez, who discovered that she could not carry her children. After the actress Selena Gomez revealed that she could not bring her children in an interview with Vanity Fair, Hoda Kotb sends her a message. While co-hosting the third hour of today, Kotb told Gomez she wasn't alone. Speaking to Vanity Fair, Gomez admitted that she had to grieve the idea that she would not be able to raise her family as she imagined. I never said this, but unfortunately I can't keep my children, she told Vanity Fair. It's something I've been struggling with for a while. It's not necessarily how I imagined it, Gomez continued. I think it happens to everyone, Gomez said of having a baby. It's a feeling Kotb said he knows all too well. Do you know how to write your story in your head? I'll get married one day, or at this age, and then have children. And can you somehow picture it? Asked Jenna Bush Hager. I think that was probably the hardest part. It's like you know you can see. Copy continued before praising Gomez for being mature and cool for giving up on this dream. So, he realized there are other ways to have a family, Copy added. And she says she plans to start with surrogacy or adoption. Copy is a proud mother of two daughters, Hope Catherine and Haley Joy. She adopted them both. Families come in all shapes and sizes, Copy said, saying they're your kids, no matter how they fit into your life, 100,000%. Gomez also shared this sentiment in her interview with Vanity Fair. I'm in a much better place with this, the actress continued. I think it's a blessing that there are wonderful people willing to do surrogacy or adoption, which are two great opportunities for me, Gomez continued. I can't wait to see what this journey is going to be like but it's going to be a little different. At the end of the day, I don't care. It's going to be mine. This is going to be my baby, 